This is the second tutorial with Tribal. We will start a new tutorial. We click on New, Scene, OK. We choose Tutorials and select Tribal 2. We click on OK. If you have gone through the first tutorial, you have learned a little about Tribal. This tutorial will cover a little bit more how to use Tribal and as in the first tutorial, I will show you how you can do it and then we will go through the tutorial step by step and see what choices we can do. To begin with I select this green part and turn on the triangle. I will put it in the center point of the surface and then I will choose parallel to axis to that surface. I will move this part first of all perpendicular to that face to the center point of that edge and I will zoom in so and I will choose the tools catalog and I will do a put a hole in the center mm, 10 millimeters through all and threads okay and then I will move the hole up a bit 10 millimeters like that and I will move the tribal to, to the center mm. and then I will uh, link five holes and uh, the angle will be uh, 360 divided by 6 okay and then I will do some adjustments on this hole like that. I will also link the hole to the other side mm -hmm. and I will select the other hole and turn on the triable and I will move the triable to the center midpoint of this edge and I will mirror link the two holes to the other side well, as you can see, it's uh, very easy to work with Tribal and uh, it's easy to copy and move and link uh, by using the Tribal and now we will work together so I will close my scene file my tutorial and I will start a new so I go to scene OK tutorials Tribal 2 OK and uh, well now we are ready. To begin with we select the green part and turn on the tri-ball and as you can see the tri-ball sits in the center of the bowl and we right click on the center handle and cl click on cent to center point to center point of this surface not the green point but the surface left click and uh, the part is in, in place. Now we will put it in, in the right direction. We right click on this uh, orienta orientation handle and choose parallel to axis and parallel to the axis of the not we can choose the edge if you want but we will choose this surface and we'll left click and as you can see the green part is put in the right direction mm. we turn off the tribal we'll select the yellow part and turn on the tribal and uh, it will be put connected to this surface so we have to turn it 90 degrees to that surface we choose perpendicular to face that face and then we uh, deselect the axis by left clicking in the scene right click on the center handle to center point center point of this edge now it's in place and I will uh, zoom in a bit like that and I will turn off the tribal. We will also make a hole in the part and uh, as you can see I have already activated my tools catalog but you find your tools catalog in the menu for the catalogs tools and you just click on it. We will choose custom hole we left drag the custom hole we drop it in the center of the part and we will see a menu for custom hole 
and we will choose a counterbore hole and the diameter will be 10 millimeters and hole extend will be through all and then we choose thread and then we click on OK. The hole is in place and when the hole is selected we will turn on the tri ball because we want to move this hole 20 millimeters and as you saw before I right clicked when the tri ball was activated so we right click and we will get a pop-up menu and we will change snap increments. This means that if you drag the tri ball it will jump in step of 10 millimeters so you can type in 10 millimeters and then you can click on OK. Now if you press down the control key in the keyboard and left drag the tri ball, select this handle and left drag and it will jump steps in steps of 10 millimeters and we will move it 20 millimeters and release the left mouse button. We will select the axis by left clicking outside the tri ball and then we press down the space bar because we want to move the tri ball right click in the center handle and choose to center of this edge and we press down the space bar to attach it we select this axis and inside the tri ball we press down the right mouse button and right drag and rotate in this direction we can also rotate on the other direction too but we will choose this direction now and release the right mouse button click on link here and we will link five holes the angle will be 360 divided by 6 click on uh, OK like that and we have our six holes linked in on the part we will move the camera to this view and first of all we will click on this hole to the IntelliShape mode and we will do some adjustments we left drag on this handle and press down the shift key we want to snap to this edge now we have a right length of the hole while the hole is selected we turn on the tri ball and uh, we select this axis because we want to drag the hole in that direction we right drag the center handle and uh, we snap snap it to the midpoint of this edge you see a green dot release the mouse button and you can see link here we click on that and we click on OK now we have a linked hole and we will turn off the tri ball and we shift select the other hole and while the holes are selected we turn on the tri ball we're pressing the space bar to detach the tri ball orbit a little bit like that and now we will move the tri ball we left drag left drag the center handle of the tri ball to the midpoint of this edge you see the snap to the midpoint and release and pressing spacebar to attach the tri ball right click on this orientation handle we choose mirror and link and we turn off the tri ball deselect click on fit scene all parts are in place and we have made new holes too once again you have seen it's very easy with tri ball in your further work you will see that IronCAD is very easy to use because you have tri ball and you have drag and drop method.